Folk Tale The Magpie's Nest by Carla Petraco The magpie flew over the treetops until she spotted the perfect tree. It was in the interior of a walled garden in a corner where two walls met. It was not too tall nor too short. It had lots of branches and many leaves and flowers to hide her from predators. It was the perfect place for her nest. The magpie landed on a branch of the tree and chose a nice-sized hollow where a large branch met the trunk. It had been raining that morning and water had collected in the hollow. The magpie began right away to scrape dirt and dead leaves together with the water to form a primitive nest of mud. A barn swallow soon landed on a branch, watching curiously as the magpie worked. The swallow had never built a nest of her own, so she wanted to see how the job was done. As the magpie finished shaping the layer of mud, the swallow flew away to make her own nest. To this day, barn swallows use mud to make their nests. However, the magpie was not finished. She began collecting small twigs from the garden and piling them on top of the layer of mud. A red-winged blackbird watched curiously. She was a young blackbird who had never built a nest of her own. Away she flew, brandishing a twig in her beak to remind herself how the job was done. To this day, all blackbirds build their nests with one layer of mud and one layer of twigs. Luckily, the magpie was not a secretive bird. She was quite happy that the younger birds, just starting their families, looked to her for lessons in building nests. However, she chuckled to herself as she continued to work. The swallow and blackbird had flown away too soon. The magpie's nest was not finished. The magpie continued to work on her nest. The first layer of mud and the first layer of twigs looked perfect. Now she was ready to add more mud to hold the twigs in place. She flew down to the ground, scooped up as much soft mud as she could carry, and flew back to her nest. Patiently, load after load, she flew back and forth until she had built up a nice second layer of soft mud. Immersed in her task, the magpie did not notice an owl watching from the top of the wall. The owl was only a young owl and had never built a nest. She was grateful for the chance to learn from the magpie. But like the barn swallow and the blackbird, she thought the nest was finished already. And off she flew to build a nest of mud, twigs, and more mud. To this day, this is how the owl builds her nest. The magpie saw the owl fly away and felt honored that this wisest of all birds should be taking lessons from a humble songbird like herself. However, she shook her head as she continued to work on her nest. The barn swallow, the blackbird, even the owl had all bungled the task. They had all flown away before the job was done. Having patted and pounded the second layer of mud into place, the magpie was ready for the next step. She began gathering small twigs and twining them around the rim of the nest. A little sparrow flew right up to the nest to examine how it was made. She was a young sparrow who had never built a nest of her own. Now she felt she knew all about it. She flew away, ready to start work immediately. To this day, all sparrows build their nests in this style. The magpie sighed. None of these young birds was going to get it right, she thought to herself. If you stopped building the nest before it was done, it would result in discomfort when hatching your eggs. The last step of all was to add a layer of soft feathers. This would keep the magpie warm and protect the eggs. It would also create soft nooks each baby magpie could burrow into once the eggs hatched. There were plenty of bird feathers to be found in the garden. There was also a rag of something soft and fleecy. The magpie busily lined her nest with these things. It would be a beautiful home for her new family. A chirp interrupted the magpie. 
she looked up to see a young starling regarding her. The starling was the only bird that had stayed through the end of the lesson. She and the magpie looked at each other for a moment. Then the starling flew away to build her own nest. She began with a layer of mud, added a layer of twigs, slapped down a second layer of mud, added more twigs, and finished off the nest with soft stuff. To this day, this is the way all starlings build their nests. The magpie was satisfied. One good, attentive pupil against four hasty and careless ones. It was enough. She curled up in her beautiful new nest and admired all her hard work.